Check this out, what a difference a new light makes. Back up a little bit. See how nice and bright it is. See if we can move in, you can see some of the colors on like these rummy noses and things. Before we had trouble seeing the rummy noses, the bright red in their noses. No, I'm not sure how the camera's picking this up, but the reds are really nice. Look at the neons, or the cardinals, I'm sorry. Really nice. Here's my rams. Oops, of course they split right when I talked to them. Oh, there they go. Here. They could really show themselves off. Good little fishes. Somewhere down here. Oh, there it is, right there. Here's my new Agus Easy. I said it wrong, I know, but there's a female up front and the male is on the rock piles just behind her. Notice he has a very awesome looking flame tail. Let's see if he can we turn sideways for me, buddy. Come on. Comes a female back in the view. That's my goal. Too much. Hey, buddy, can you turn so we can see your tail? Come on. Come on, little fishy, fishy. There he goes. Look at that. Isn't that cool? He's called an egg is easy. Egg is easy. Something like that. Double red. Oh, there's my two loaches. Very good old fishes. We'll back and we'll pan through here. Look at that. It'll probably be a good time to take a good inventory of the plants because I'm hoping it totally changes. Looks like Rams are thinking about maybe getting busy over in that plant stack. That's where they had their nest last time. There's my one of my I call them red tail algae eaters. Oh, there comes Ruthie, my big old angel. She's got issues. Of course, way up there is my... Those are my hatchet fish. There's another one of those red tails. I got three of them. There's one in the background. On the, see them on the, the uh, water pipe. <clears throat> what else is in here? Oh, here comes my border loach. Look at her. She's beautiful. It's just gone in the rock pile there. It's a gorgeous fish and such an excellent fish to have in there. And somewhere, in, oh, there he is. Hey, Max. This his name's Max because he's blue. He's my blue Max. Max, move, would you? There you go, buddy. He's just a beta, a beta. Very nice fish. He tries to bite things, but he's too slow. So he just kind of adjusted to living in here. Very nice tank, mate. Actually, right now I'm very lucky. Got a couple auto sinklets over here. See, one's in the pot and one's right above it on the branch. There should be three. Usually, where you see the two, the third one's not too far behind. They're just hard to see. They're like little squirrels in there or something. Very nice fish. Anyways, let's do a pan back here. Oh, the golden barbs. There, oh God, barbs, golden tetras. That's, you can see them swimming by there. There's a hatchet for some reason swimming in the pack, which is, he seems to got lost from his crowd up here. He th thinks he's a golden uh, dead dryer or something to him. There he goes. <laughs> Anyways, there's Ruth in the back. We'll do a pan back here. Beautiful job. Beautiful job with the lighting. Oh, I didn't show you what I'm doing this for. Check out this new light. It's up on top. The sucker has, I think it's at 3,200 LEDs. Hang on with your eyes here. Yeah. So if my camera didn't just get blinded forever. <laughs> Anyways, does this beautiful job. So, if everything works out in the next couple months, this tank should just be full of beautiful plants. And here's the big one right here, guys. Right down there, you see that? That's a Reuben's sword that's all dried up, but it has three babies underneath there. And uh, it's just all corroding away. But underneath it are three babies, I know, because I moved it. And here's another Reuben's sword that since I started... Working with the water changes and the lighting and uh, working with the new um, aquarium store. It says Ruben's coming back. It's beautiful. So, And lots of things have happened. Uh, these plants have gotten nice and tall. 
So everything's looking up.